Now let me pass on one great rule to you which has been discovered in interviewing self-made millionaires. Self-made millionaires look into every failure for something good. They say there's got to be something good in this that I can benefit from and surprise, surprise, they always find it. Second is self-made millionaires always seek the valuable lesson in every setback or obstacle or temporary failure and they always find the lesson. Now, what do failures do? Failures whine and cry and think about what they've lost and blame their problems on someone else. Successful people say, what can I learn from this that will make me smarter next time? And my promise to you, those who seek find, is that if you go looking for a valuable lesson in the biggest problem that you're facing today, you'll always find the lesson. Here's another possibility. Your biggest problem today could be the biggest gift that you have ever received because it may contain within it the lesson that will make you successful. If you stop thinking about what happened and who's to blame and you start looking for the gift within your problem, sometimes it can transform your life. The next key is to dedicate yourself to lifelong learning. Now, what takes you from rags to riches is personal development, personal professional development. In the 21st century, as Peter Drucker says, knowledge and skill are the keys to the 21st century. And the only thing that will be relevant, the only skill that will be relevant in the 21st century is the ability to learn new skills. Because virtually everything you know is becoming obsolete at a rapid rate. Stephen Covey says that your current knowledge base has a half-life of two years which means that half of everything you know will be irrelevant within two years. And two years from now, half more. So if you're not continually learning and upgrading your knowledge and skills, you're not staying in the same place. As Pat Riley says, the basketball coach says, if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. If you're not constantly learning, you're actually falling behind. So here are the three keys to continuous learning. Number one is read in your field 30 to 60 minutes each day. In other words, turn off the television, turn off the radio, put aside the newspaper, and just read in your field. The very best places to read, by the way, are books. Read books, the best-selling books written by the most successful people in your field, because books contain a wealth of riches that can enable you to function at a far higher level, to get much better results than you, than, than you could before. So read 30 to 60 minutes a day. I've had people tell me, countless people over the years that reading an hour a day has doubled and tripled their income within a year. The second thing you do is take every course that you possibly can. The courses and seminars that are available to you in your field that are given by professionals that are courses that have been developed over years and years and years. They have been tested and tested and tested. The person who is talking to you for several hours has spent thousands of hours learning their subject. They have dry tested this or, or done test runs with thousands of other people. When you take a course, you can learn enough information in one or two days more than you could learn in two or three years or maybe even a lifetime, all distilled and put together. People say, I can't afford a course. You cannot afford not to buy books. You can't afford not afford not to go to courses. Some years ago, I had a dentist, and he was a very successful dentist. I was recommended to me by a friend. And this dentist retired at the age of 53. And just before he retired, he sold his practice for about $2 million. Just before he retired, he told me why. He said about eight years before, he had attended a dental con congress in Hong Kong. His front, this is from California. He'd flown all the way to Hong Kong to attend this International Dental Congress because there were specialists giving private lectures, sort of plenary sessions on the side. And he attended this session, and it was on a particular technique of cosmetic surgery that this dentist had developed that no one else knew, where you could basically straighten out a person's entire front jaw so they'd look beautiful at a very low cost, at a very high level of effectiveness. He came back and he began implementing this in his practice. People began flying from 500 to 1,000 miles away. Every dentist sent their, their families, members and themselves to this dentist. He was able to charge whatever he wanted to charge. He said eight years later he retired as a self-made millionaire at the age of 53 to enjoy his money for the rest of his life from what he learned from one session at one convention at one course. Now that's, that is a true story and maybe it's an exception, but you can never tell where the information is going to